Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC Mom Who Loves Science, and today I'm going to talk to you about CC Cycle 2, Week 17, Hands-On Science Experiments, and those are going to be 174 in your Van Cleves Energy Change, which is on page 96, and we'll be doing Experiment 177 on the next page, which is called SNAP. So first I'm going to go over Energy Change, and I like to have Nicoleum's science scripts um, with me when I do go over the science experiments. You can find these on CC Connected. Um, she just has it laid out really well according to the scientific method and then some really great just definitions of how to explain these vocabulary terms to your students and some good questions to ask. So we've been talking about um, laws of thermodynamics. We learned about kinetic and potential energy. And you ask him questions like, what is energy? And what makes something um, go faster? What makes, um, you know, a, a, we talked some about heat, different types of heat, and that is energy. And it's that movement of those molecules, things that have higher energy, those molecules are moving really quickly. Things that have a lower energy, those molecules are moving slower. Um, so we're going to do an experiment today to talk about potential and kinetic energy and this is a really fun one I'll show you kind of the setup so you'll need uh, a marble uh, pencil either a book or I'm just using a roll of tape you'll need just need something that's thicker than a pencil so whether that be a book or just something else to prop your ruler up you'll need a ruler um, your director I do not have one here with me but you'll, your director will have a ruler that has a groove down the middle and that's gonna be a path for your uh, marble so I won't be able to demonstrate it the whole thing today but you'll need a ruler that has a groove down the middle and then you'll need a cup and you're gonna use scissors to cut a square out of it that your ruler can fit into and you want the opening to be wide enough that your ruler does not touch the sides of the cup because we want the cup to be able to move freely so um, large enough that the ruler can fit in and not touch the sides of the cup and also tall enough because we're going to be um, raising up the ruler some so make your opening tall enough so that the marble doesn't get stuck on the cup as it rolls down so the setup I can show you is so you're gonna first do it with a, a pencil and you're gonna prop your ruler up it'll have the groove down the middle and then you'll put your um, cup so that it touches the end of the ruler so the end of the ruler is touching the back of the cup then you're going to take the marble and you're going to release it and roll it down the the ruler through the groove and it'll hit the back of the cup and you'll notice that the cup will move backwards and you ask your students okay why did that happen and um, why did we observe what we did? Why did the cup move back as much as it did? And we're going to do the experiment again by lifting up the ruler some more. And you'll notice that the marble rolls faster and your cup is going to move out farther. And I would recommend probably choosing a different type of cup, maybe either a styrofoam cup or like a paper Dixie cup. Um, when I was just trying to test it, this, this type of cup did not slide very easily on, on my table. So you might um, experiment with different types of cups or maybe a smaller cup. This is a fairly large cup, so you know it's going to absorb more of the energy. But what we're talking about is, is that change in energy. And um, so we're going to ask the students why, you know, if we use the same marble and the same ruler and the same cup, what changed? Why did our cup move farther? Why did the marble move faster? And that is because the marble had more potential energy when it was started from a higher position. So potential energy is just that stored energy, that pent up energy, that potential that it has. And so when something is higher, it's going to have a higher potential energy. So the, the force of gravity is the same each time. Um, we learn that the force of gravity pulls on everything the same. So 
the force pulling it down is the same. So the only thing that changes is how high we started. And so when we start higher with our marble, that's a higher potential energy. And it makes the, the marble want to roll faster. Um, let me see what else I'm going to say. So just get their observations. You could take a ruler and measure how far the cup slides. If you have something even taller, if you want to run the experiment again and see how far the cup moves in that direction. Uh, with something even higher, see what distance you could get. So this is, you can have the students come up and give this a try. And try they could try both ways with the pencil and the book or the tape, whatever um, you have to prop it up higher. And just have a conversation, you know, the energy, we talk about energy cannot be created or destroyed with the first law of thermodynamics. It just changes form. It can convert to another form. Um, so like the sunlight, that radiation from the sun, that's energy, that's heat energy. And think about how um, the plants absorb it into their leaves and they convert that that light, that radiant energy into a chemical and store it as food for the plant. So it just changes it into a different form. And then when people or animals eat those plants, that energy is converted back into another form that we can use. We have the energy to move and to do things, um, to run. So it's, it's energy is never destroyed or created it's just changes forms and so this is a cool experiment to see how we can change from a potential energy where it's not moving but it has that stored up energy and we can convert it into kinetic energy which is the energy of movement and see how we can create um what see what the difference is when we have more potential energy versus less potential energy and how fast the marble moves so that is that experiment. It's a really fun one. And then the second experiment is called Snap. And this is a re really simple one. You're just going to take a, ca a can. They recommend a can of soda. I didn't have a can of soda, so I'm just taking a can of soup. And you're going to need a piece of paper. I just cut a strip from just a regular um, piece of copy paper about four inches uh, wide. So this is about four by 11. And so we're going to hypothesize. So I'm going to put the um, can on top of the paper, kind of towards the end, because you want to be able to pull it. And so you ask the students, so what's going to happen when I um, try to pull this paper out from under the can? You can do it different ways. You can say, okay, if I just hold it out here and I try to pull, what's going to happen to the can? And if I do that, the can moves with it. And, but if I, I uh, pull it closer to the can and I snap it away, the can barely moves. And so you talk about, okay, why does that happen? And this is fun one to have the students try too. And you could try different objects, different size objects, different weights of objects. Um, and see if you could get similar results or if it matters what object you have on the paper. And so... Um, our second law of motion states that um, an object doesn't want to go faster or so it wants to stay at a constant speed or if it stay, if it's at rest it wants to stay at rest so an object doesn't want to change what it's doing basically so if an object is like our can is just sitting here it's going to want to stay there unless it's acted upon by a strong enough outside force. And so, um, inertia is our vocabulary word we're going to talk about today, and that's an object's resistance to change. So if an object is, is moving, so if you remember back on week four, we had the, the, the pie plate and the marble uh, spinning around inside the pie plate. It didn't want to, it wanted to keep moving. We wanted to keep going around, um, but when we added different materials into the bottom of the pan, we created that friction, and that friction is what slowed it down. So there was a force that acted on that marble to slow it down. But if there was no friction there, it would just keep going round and round that pan. 
So same with our can. Our can will just stay sitting here unless that force acted upon it is strong enough. So why is me just snapping the paper out from under it? Why was that not enough um, force? And so if you have older students, you can talk about how um, the, the equation is force equals mass times acceleration. So our mass is staying the same, but our acceleration changed. The first time I did it, I pulled really slowly. And so that, that means we have a lower force that was required to move the can. Um, when I pulled it really quickly, that acceleration was high. Um, we need a, a lot stronger force. So um, that's just demonstrating, you know, it objects can move. Their, their speed can change or they can get moving if they're resting, but you have to have a strong enough force. And so there's a way we calculate that force equals mass times acceleration. And you have to have um, that balanced in order to change something's movement. So just learning more about Newton's laws of motion and inertia, which is an object's resistance to change. So have fun with these experiments. And I'll see you guys soon.